Hello everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to start with making some smothered pork chops. First thing I'm going to do, wash your pork chops. Please make sure you wash your meat. I'm going to pour some hot sauce. It's basically how I make my chicken too. Hot sauce. I like garlic salt. Uh, Johnny seasoning salt too. Sprinkle a little bit. You're going to stir this up so. Some pepper. Stir it up, mix it up, because you're going to let these marinate for a few minutes. So mix it up real good. And then we're going to set this aside for a second. Let me get, turn the stove on. Probably about medium heat. And then I have some flour, which I am going to add some pepper. Garlic salt. Johnny's seasoning salt. Alrighty, mix it up a little bit. Yeah, there we have that. It's done. Pork chops back over here. Get the hot sauce out the way. After you get that all mixed up, and we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna make some corn, and in a pot over there, I put a little bit of butter in it. So I'm gonna open my corn, and you know how they say that everybody's been opening their cans wrong. You know that's so true because I have arthritis, and I usually have problems opening my cans, but now. Since I do it like this, I don't have problems. So I strain the juice of one and a half cans of corn. Pour it in the pot with some butter, put some pepper, set it on the back burner. Uh, I usually cook it on low because it cooks the whole time I'm cooking dinner. corn turn that on now our flour I mean flour sorry our oil has heated up you want to take your pork chops just dip it in the flour Oop! it's hot it's talking to me put that meat up in me and then you just want to brown them And then we're going to make some homemade gravy. The way I, my mom taught me. So, mm, put another small one up in here? No, I don't want to crowd it, so don't crowd your meat. Until it's brown. And then I'm going to put it in this little pan here till I get done and then I'll show you guys how to make make my homemade gravy which a lot of people have been asking about so I'm gonna finally give up my secret to making my gravy so just let that fry up too. mashed potatoes gravy corn oh and my husband wants some biscuits so I'm gonna make some biscuits tonight too Alright, so now that the 
pork chops have the brown. Flip them over. Look how nice that looks. That's what they're supposed to look like. Flip it on over. Okay, so now that these ones are done, I'm just going to set them over here. And this is the oil, not the Throw a couple more in. And then I'm going to start the, cutting up the potatoes. And I need to cut up an onion. Not a whole onion, a little bit of onion because I put onions in my gravy. Okay, so while the pork chops are of the frying, I'm going to slice up. I'm not going to use this whole onion. I use a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't need a lot. Set that aside. And it's going to go in your gravy. Alright. You got to peel some potatoes. Make some mashed potatoes to go with dinner. So you just peel, 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 peel away. Cut it up and I put it in cold water with some salt. That the pork chops are almost done. They're almost done. There's only two left. I got the potatoes on. My corn's on. We are going to get ready to start on the gravy. Okay. So my gravy. First things first. Turn your stove down. Get a coffee can and pour some of that oil out. And then I am going to... Need a couple tablespoons of butter. Right in the pan. And you want that dripping from the pork chop. Because that'll give you gravy for flavor. And then you want it to cook out for a couple minutes because you don't want that flour taste in your, in your gravy. So basically you're making a roux. And you got all that stuff out. And start adding it broth. Slowly and stir as you add. If you don't, and one fall for now. Mix, stir. Pour, I mean, pour, mix. And then it's going to thicken, so just keep adding the broth to it. Make sure you keep stirring because you know, you'll get all these lumps out too. It might look lumpy, but just hold up. Keep stirring. As beef broth, I always use less sodium because you can always add, but you can never take away. Bring it up to a boil too, and I add some milk. And then I'm going to put the pork chops back into the gravy. So I have added my secret sauce to my gravy and a little bit of pepper yep. start putting yep. your pork chops back into the gravy oops there I go again spilling stuff all over the place i should have put it in a bigger pan 
All the drippings too. Don't forget the drippings. Gotta have the drippings from the pork chops. Get them in there. Now let them just smother in the gravy. I'm gonna mm -hmm. add some of my onions to my gravy too. Put on top. That was so bad. Make sure you I test your food. Make sure it's got no seasoning in it. Always. The pork chops. Now you gotta keep an eye on the pork chops. You don't want the gravy to thicken up. If it gets too thick, add some more either milk or broth. Whatever you got left, add it. Keep it on like a medium. Keep an eye on that though. You don't want it to burn. Mm. I wish I had smell of vision. I wish I had taste of vision. Woo. Because that stuff is good. Please try the the gravy recipe let me know what you guys think of my smothered gravy my smothered pork chops with gravy give me some comments like dislike please subscribe right. I believe the biscuits are done now Get open. Yep. Yes, sir, please so, leave me a comment, especially if you guys make any of my recipes. I would love to hear from anybody. Anybody. Thank you, you guys. And there you have it. Smothered pork chops with my homemade gravy, corn, cheese, drop biscuits, and mashed potatoes. Thanks for joining me. Have a good night.